Hi, so in this video we want to be looking at the reciprocal trig functions, uh, so that's secant, cosecant and cotangent. Um, we normally use these abbreviated forms sec, sorry, sec, cosec and cot and to try and remember where they come from you look at the third letter, so this has the C and that comes from cos on the third letter. Uh, cosec has S on the third letter so it comes from sine and cot has T on the third letter so it comes from tan. Um, you can obviously flip all of these and then you get sine theta is one of cosec theta, cos theta is one of sec theta and tan theta is one over cot theta. Now we need to be able to draw these graphs and to draw these graphs you need um, just to be sure of a few uh, reciprocal things. Uh, reciprocal of 1 over 1 is 1. Reciprocal of minus 1 uh, is minus 1. Reciprocal of 0 is undefined, so we have an asymptote. So this means a 0 on a graph corresponds to an asymptote um, on the reciprocal graph, and the curves tend towards infinity. Um, and the reciprocal of something very small is big. So if you once you get approach zero, you're you're going to something big. So if you can draw the sine, cos, and tan graphs, you should be able to draw the reciprocal graphs. So here we have cosec and sine. So the third letter is S. So we're talking about the sine. So you start here's a sine graph, a sine curve, and you note it goes through zero at zero. At 90 degrees, we have one and at um, 270 we have minus 1. So from those points you can sort of work out how the reciprocal curve will be. So at 0 we head towards infinity, so we head towards infinity that way, because 1 over 0 heads towards infinity, and we head towards infinity that way. So we know that our curves go come from infinity and head down to negative infinity at the zero on this one. And then at 90 degrees we've got one, and so the reciprocal, reciprocal of one is one, and so we know that point two. Um, so hopefully you can see that from that you know we're coming from there, and then we will go to zero. And then as this goes back down to zero, we'll have one over zero again, and so we head back off up to infinity again and then we start again. So that's how the um, cosec curve looks like, and, and every time you go through zero, we're heading up to infinity. Okay, so the sec and the cos graph are exactly the same as with sine and cos. You just have to shift it over. So this time with the cos graph, um, hope, hopefully you remember when x is zero, we have cos is one, and so the reciprocal one is going to be one. So we're going to go through that point. And this time we go to um, zero at 90. So our asymptote, that's where we head to infinity, um, is going to be at 90. And so we know this goes off up that way. And then at uh, minus 90, we also go through zero. And so this is going to head off that way. And so that's where you work out where the places um, Go where we have the, the curve tending towards infinity, and we know that it touches because 1 over minus 1 is minus 1, and 1 over 1 is 1, so you can work out those points as well. Okay, so the last one, cot x and tan x, so, so um, tan x is a slightly harder graph, I always feel, um, so I remember it goes through 0, and then heads off to infinity, this is the tan graph, at 90. Now, if you're heading off to infinity, the reciprocal of heading off to infinity is 0, because 1 over a very, very big number is going to give you 0. So this one goes through 0 there. And then when um, x is 0, you're going to have 1 over 0, which would be undefined, but you've got an asymptote heading up to infinity there. So this one's going up to infinity there, then it's going to go through 0 there, and then it goes down towards infinity that way, and then we start it again, as, as you would expect, the patterns all repeat on these. Um, okay, I hope that's helpful, you might need to just practice them, you need to be able to sketch the, the original graphs, of course, first. Okay, bye.